All right, many women will tell you they play many roles during the day. Mother, wife, co-worker, boss, and friend. All of these roles can lead to heart attacks or other illnesses. Now, Meredith Young Sauer is a speaker and spiritual healer has taken this on. She's written a book in response called Spirit Heals. And she's with us today in our San Francisco Bureau. Meredith, thank you so much for joining us this Hi. morning. Thank you. I like being here with you. Oh, well, excellent. Let's uh, start with what you mean by spiritual healing. Describe that. Well, I think the power of bringing what we love from within us into our mind-body connection. I think so many times women say, and men too, well, what I feel doesn't belong in the boardroom or it's not important. But what studies are showing is that what we feel inside really has a huge impact on our, on our healing. And so that sense of spirit, of passion, of what we love, bringing that into what we do really helps heal our body. You, know, you say that it is difficult for women to find time for themselves, and, and I imagine that plays a large part in some of the stresses that can perhaps even lead to illnesses. Why is it so hard to do that? Well, I think that women feel that we have to be perfect. We have to be the perfect mom, we have to raise kids, we have to manage a good job, and we're our own worst enemy because we think that there's no time, a time out for us. And yet, so many people depend on us that it's important for us to cut off that critical message that's going around saying, I gotta do more, I have to help more people, to say, I gotta help me first. I have to be able to take a breath, step back, and really say, am I whole here? Am I connected to all of me? Not just my, my head and my brain, but am I connected to my heart? Am I connected to how I feel and what's going on inside of me as well? That's important. Is it healthy to maybe take a look at yourself and decide, hey, I'm just wearing too many hats? Absolutely. Absolutely. And, you know, the interesting thing is, is that women respond to relationship and being loved and that being in community more than men do biologically, that's a big, a big piece for us. So we get really scared when we think about saying no to somebody or saying, well, I can't be in this relationship or I can't do this extra job because it, we think it's going to mean we can't be loved and we won't be helped um, and held in that way. And so we get very scared. And how is it uh, to make time for Perhaps spirituality is the term here. If you call it spiritual healing and someone doesn't find that as one of the segments of their life, do you cut out something else and try to find time for that? I think spiritual healing, really, I think about it as spirit heals, which means that power of love and passion that we all have and that, that women have. It's to bring that into our life and to say, I, we tend to think black and white. I have to have two hours. I have to be able to go to the mm. beach for a week. Instead, I can take five minutes. And I, one of the practices that I love that's called spiritual aspirin, you put your hand over your heart and you say, let me stop thinking for a minute and let me feel inside. Let me really just kind of take two minutes to take a breath. So it's peppering your day with moments of time out when we're not just thinking about sort of a gut hunch, but a heart knowing, a heart knowing. I like that phrase. I imagine you've met lots of women who this works for. Does it work, do you find, for men as well? Well, it does. And someone said to me, how come, Meredith, you wrote this book for women? And I said, that's the best way for men to get the information because <laughs> their wives going to say, honey, let me read you this passage. You're going to love this piece. And uh, it is for men and women. And it's for us how to find a way to be fully with ourselves as women when we have so much going on and, and trust our instincts. You know, we want to bring our instincts into the world because that's what makes us such powerful contributors and not to feel we have to leave them behind. And trust becomes a real operative word here. Excellent. You have a good point. Meredith Young Sowers, thank you so much for joining us this morning. That's great. Uh, Meredith, by the way, has a book signing tonight at 7 p.m. If you'd like to know more and even meet the author, it's at Sacred Paths Bookstore in San Mateo. Again, that's at 7 o'clock tonight. We've got some details on our website, NBC11.com, under featured links. Art is in the air.